Hey, what's going on guys? So here's a short video just to show you how you can basically use a VPN. This is a tutorial for ExpressVPN, but it basically applies for any other VPN. The general rule is you have to know how to find your server and optimize your options. So let me just begin here with the options before we do the obvious, which is just connect to a server and that's it. So everybody knows how to turn on the VPN, I'm sure. If you do want to follow along, by the way, I'll drop a link for Express in the description. And essentially, it's so easy. You can just turn it on like that. And once it's on, you're connected to whatever country you've chosen. So right now, I'm connected to South Korea. So if I turn it off, I'm no longer connected to South Korea. So if I go into the options here, you'll see there are a bunch of options. There's the kill switch, which will disconnect my internet connection if the VPN stops working for whatever reason. This is just to prevent any leaks. And there's also split tunneling, which will allow you to choose which apps can be routed to the VPN or not. So if I choose this, it means that when I turn on the VPN, only Google Chrome will be affected by the VPN, while the rest of my apps and my overall network won't be affected by the VPN. So in advanced protection, you have some basic stuff here. What's cool is that it has a parental control, but made very easy. So you can just turn this on and most of the adult sites and adult content will be censored. And you also have an ad blocker here and some tracker blockers and whatnot. You definitely want to turn these on if you want to make sure that none of these come your way, or at least it's lessened. It's not like they completely disappear. And then finally, what I like to use is the lightweight turbo. This is the quickest speed that you can get. So you definitely want to go ahead and use that. And I think all the apps at this point have this available. And that's basically it. So again, the protocol is just your mode of communication. So it's almost like choosing which vehicle you're going to use to surf the internet using lightweight turbo is one of the greatest vehicles uh, that you can use, especially with ExpressVPN here. And that's basically it. So the way I might use ExpressVPN, for example, if I go to Netflix, I was just looking up what kind of shows are available. And it seems like there's this interesting movie right here. It seems funny. It's called Bad Couple. So if I look it up, this is basically a website, by the way, that shows you which shows are available in which countries. You can ask GPT if you want to make it simpler, but I just like using this website called unogs.com, by the way. So you can see that this is running in Korea only for now. So I don't really have access to it because I'm not in Korea. So what I'll do is, again, I can go to locations, all locations, or just look it up here, you know, look up Korea, or I can go to Asia Pacific and select Korea from here. Once it's selected, I'll just turn it on. And that is basically how it works. You'll see that as soon as it's on, I can go back to Netflix and I'll just wait a little bit until the connection has settled, give it a refresh. And the bad couple Korean movie should show up right here. And that is basically it. Here it is. So that's one way to use VPNs. Of course, just using a VPN in and of its own, it's a security tool. But at this point, it's got lots of uses, whether you're avoiding censorship, uh, surveillance, entertainment, as you can tell right here, or maybe accessing online shops that are not available in your location or just general services, whether it's a crypto exchange or whatever it is, there are a bunch of uses for VPNs. So that'll be it for this video. I'll drop a link to Express. Again, if you guys want to try it out for yourselves, also be sure to include the best discount that I can find in the description as well. And that'll be it for me in this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.